the quintessential Canadian fishing lure. That's what I want to talk today about, folks. You know, I bet there's not an angler in Canada who doesn't have uh, at least one, and probably like me, an entire tackle box full of Williams spoons. These are the quintessential, the Williams wobbler, uh, the Williams whitefish, the absolute quintessential uh, spoons, baits in Canada for northern pike, lake trout, Chinook salmon, and coho salmon. I will not go anywhere in the country for those four species and not have, and this is my favorite, the Williams whitefish, and it's actually my favorite color, uh, uh, the new wrinkle or the half and half, half silver, half gold. And these are made with pure 24 karat gold and pure silver. And that's part of the secret, part of the, the fish catching uh, attraction of these baits. Now, if you've got some William spoons, you know that they, they come with a treble hook on the back. 90% of the time, I take that treble off and I'll put a single siwash on the back. The other thing that I normally do, uh, especially when I'm fishing for northerns and lake trout, I put a Mr. Twister, just a five inch curly tail uh, grub on the back. Now, probably 10 years ago, 15 years ago, might even be 15 now, I was up in Casba Lake and that's where we got onto this pattern. First day at Casba, we got 78 lake trout, all of them on a William spoon with this grub on the back. We took got 20 Lakers between 20 and 40 pounds in three days of fishing. It was absolutely incredible. Just the most amazing fishing uh, up till that point in time I had ever had. Now, fast forward about uh, seven, eight years, and I go with a good friend of mine, Mark Stefell, and Mark and I go up to uh, uh, Reindeer Lake on the Saskatchewan Manitoba border. And we're fishing at the end of the uh, end of the season, and it was late August, early September, fishing for northern pike. We took this same bait, Williams white fish spoon, single side wash hook, and the white uh, curly tail grub on the back, and we were throwing it out over the last deep weed lines and pulling it out over the last deep weed lines. And as we were bringing it out over the deep weed line, we'd pause it right on the edge, let it flutter back down. In seven casts, we caught the four biggest northern pike, landed at the resort that year. Uh, we actually got one about 32, 34 pounds. We got several others, 29s, 30, 31s. Again, it was absolutely unbelievable. Now, the secret about William spoons. One of the keys, they are made with pure 24 karat gold and jewelry quality silver, genuine silver. And it's that flash, it's that flash when they come through that perfectly looks uh, like a nail wife or a smelt or a Cisco coming in. And I'm sure at Reindeer Lake, when we were at Reindeer throwing those across the weed beds, I'm sure those northerns that were set up adjacent to that deep water, they saw what they saw what they thought was a cisco or a herring uh, that, I mean, this is my lucky day. If I'm a northern pike and I see a cisco coming in from deep water and I'm in that ambush position against that deep weed line, it was amazing, simply amazing. And even the guide told us he'd never seen anything like it. Uh, the other thing is, is the Williams have got this uh, ridge on the center here, and it makes them wobble. It's just the most enticing wobble as you bring them through the, through the water. Now, I'm going to share with you another little secret. We went up uh, about five years ago. We went to Queen Charlotte Lodge. Queen Charlotte in the Queen Charlotte Islands, and, and we're fishing, Mark and I, my buddy Mark, uh, we're fishing for coho and, and Chinook salmon. And the standard thing to do out in the Queen Charlotte is you pull a flasher or a dodger like this. And no one's really sure uh, what these dodgers and flashers, what they, they replicate. Is it a salmon that's coming in behind your cut plug bait? Or is it actually uh, uh, maybe a school of ciscos or a school of, of needlefish or anchovies? Really not known, but it's a great attractor. And, and, you know, folks were doing well with this uh, out there. They were getting six, eight, ten uh, uh, cohos and chinooks a day. And we're talking about fish in that 20 to 40 pound range. Secret. Mark and I, all we did 
is took the hook off the Williams Whitefish Spoon and we made what we call a finesse uh, Dodger Flasher. So we, instead of pulling this bigger uh, Flasher Dodger here, we took the Williams Whitefish Spoon and we put that on our baits. And it was the single most incredible fishing experience of my life. In one day, we caught, landed, and or had on 50 Cohos and Chinooks that we conservatively estimate. We know they were better than 20 pounds uh, because we were landing 28s, 30s, 32s. But just for sake of argument, if we say that they were 20 pounds, and that's really on the low side, 50 of them, we put 1,000 pounds of Chinook and Coho salmon into the boat simply by putting the Williams Whitefish Spoon up as an attractor, as a flasher dodger ahead of our baits. And we could go in, we could go alongside a lodge boat, we could go behind a lodge boat in front, didn't matter. We could go anywhere we wanted at the Queen Charlotte's for those three days and it was lights out action. Tell you how good it was. When we came into the lodge that night, the guides were all sit standing uh, on the dock waiting for us to come in. A and a couple of them said to us, we, every time we turned around and we looked at you guys, you had the net in the water and we just couldn't figure out what you were doing. And all it was, was taking this William spoon and using it as a flasher dodger ahead of our baits. Now, one of the guides said, you know, I can't believe something that uh, small of a detail could result uh, in such big fish. Do you mind if I come out tomorrow and fish with you guys? And he only had half a day and we said, listen, you hop in the boat, go wherever you want to take it, take us, you run the boat. So you put your bait over the right hand side, we'll put ours over the left. He put the standard uh, Dodger Flasher on his side of the boat. We put the William Spoon on ours fished one rod on the right side, one rod on the left side. We caught twice as many, twice as big, using simply the William Spoon as the Dodger Flasher rather than the bigger bait, uh, rather than that bigger flasher. It was so good, I was trying to put my line into the downrigger cable to put it down, and the fish were taking it out of my hands before I could snap it into the release cable. If I'd have had that line inadvertently around the tip of my finger, there were a couple times we took 28 uh, to 32 pound Chinooks, they would have taken the end of my finger off when they hit. That's how hard they were doing it. And the only difference using a Williams Whitefish Spoon as our Dodger Flasher. No matter where we have gone for Lake Trout, Northern Pike, uh, and Chinook Salmon and Coho Salmon, this bait has been the single best reason, the single reason we have done so well. This is the 100th anniversary this year. And as a result of the anniversary, the uh, folks at Williams have made this commemorative series of baits, Williams spoons, uh, gold and silver, and they're gonna give 10 of them away. You have to enter, and entry is free. I'm gonna show you right now, here's the code. I'm, here's also the website. You go to this website, you enter the code, give the folks your name, uh, email address, just fill out the entry. At the end of December, the 1st of January, so January 2017, they're gonna make a draw, and they're gonna pick 10 names and 10 of those folks are going to win this one of these 10 commemorative uh, uh, series of William Spoons in this beautiful, beautiful wooden commemorative case. So go online, put the code in, enter the contest, do it before December the 31st, and good luck. You might win these quintessential Canadian baits my go-to baits for northern pike, lake trout, chinook salmon, coho salmon. I would say the best bait for those four species ever made.